Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. DeepBougie86 here again. And yes guys, it's that time again for the DVD slash Blu-ray update for the month of January. Uh, first up, before I get more into the update, uh, as you can tell, I'm still kind of croggy and sick. My voice is cracking. But if it does during this update, I apologize beforehand. Uh, just the weather has been fucked here and uh, it comes and goes, you know what I mean? But uh, it happens. But uh, lots of good stuff to show you guys this month. Actually, a very huge month in uh, uh, good old January. So excited for that, you know? So let's get right into it. Uh, first up, I picked up a film that I'm actually... We're going to be covering this on the upcoming episode of Cinema Attack, so look out for that, guys. And that, of course, is Todd Brown's Freaks. Uh, yes, I finally have a copy of Freaks in the collection. Awesome shit. It's been a while since I've seen this film. It actually brought back some uh, good memories, but sad memories also. Uh, uh, just personal shit, you know. Uh, just uh, people that I watched this film with that are no longer with us, that type of deal. Yeah, so, you know, fucking uh, awesome film. I love Freaks. Fucking uh, awesome shit right here. Uh, you know, like, uh, for the time that this was made, this is very, like, risque, like, filmmaking, especially for Todd Brown and, uh, of course, who directed Dracula. But I'll get more into that when we review it on Cinema Attack, but it was really cool to revisit this film. Next up is a film that I haven't seen before. It's a, like a, I think it's an indie slasher. And uh, we're actually going to be covering this, not on an episode coming soon, but we have uh, our episodes planned out to episode 15. And uh, this is going to be episode 15. Uh, we're going to be doing like a Martin slasher show. So... Look out for that, guys, and this is uh, going to be one of the films on it, and it's called Sleepover Nightmare. Uh, this was picked by uh, Matt for that show. Uh, never seen it before, which I actually, there's two films on this show that I've never seen before, so I'm excited. Look at that cover art, though. You never know, because it is kind of like some shitty-ass cover art, but you never know. So can't wait to check that one out. Next up is a film that I have seen before, but it's very vague to my memory because I haven't seen it since this came out and I needed a copy because this is actually going to be the show after uh, the one with Freaks. And uh, this is 3,000 Miles to Graceland. If you haven't seen this, it's like a heist film with Kurt Russell and Kevin Costner. And uh, it's set in Vegas, which is a hint of what this show is themed. Uh, actually, the other film we're pairing this with is in my Blu-ray, so when I get to it, you'll figure out the theme of the show. But, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this one, so it's kind of, like, vague, like I said. So it would be curious when I revisit this one and see what I feel about it. Yeah, 3,000 Miles of Graceland. <laughs> Next up is another film called 13 Airy, which... I know this has a different cover art, I think. I think this is the Canadian edition. But as you see, it stars Catherine Isabel, and sorry for the glare there. And I don't know if I like that cover or not. It's kind of odd. I remember seeing, like, the other one that a lot of other people have. But uh, other than that, you know, uh, I think it's like a zombie film. I haven't seen this film. I heard a lot of interesting things about it, and I always wanted to check it out, so... Uh, be on the lookout. Next up is a film called... Uh, this is when we get into like all my crazy Asian shit of the DVD section. And first up, we got a film that I reviewed on Body Bags, and that's Negative Happy Chainsaw Edge. Uh, fucking weird fucking movie, man. If you haven't seen my review, I can't do this movie justice right now. Uh, but check my review out because I explain pretty much what the gist of this movie is. Uh, very interesting <laughs> movie. <laughs> An awesome title. 
Next up is a film from uh, Kiyoshi Kurosawa, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And that is uh, Retribution, if you don't know who... This is from the director of like the OG Pulse, and uh, he also directed Cure. I started this movie, uh, just uh, didn't get a chance to finish it. I was liking what I was seeing though. This was very cool, like kind of like a like a detective story mixed with like supernatural elements. So very curious to check uh, the rest of this one out. So cool shit right there. This one I have seen before, and that is Infection. Finally picked up a copy of it. Uh, Japanese film, of course. The rest of these, I believe, are Asian films besides uh, the one box that I picked up. Uh, cool, like, hospital horror film. Very psychological. Fucking uh, craziness right here with this one. Uh, I used to watch this all the time on Fairnet. Kind of glad that I have a copy of it now. Uh, very cool uh, use of colors in this film, I'll put it that way. So, yeah, if you haven't checked out Infection, I do recommend it. Uh, sip of water real quick. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Uh, next up is a film I haven't seen before. It's called The Sylvanian Experiments. Another Asian film. Uh, it has a very cool premise. Pretty much it's about uh, like uh, they're doing like something with the brain and bringing people back from the dead. That's what I got from the gist of the premise. Uh, can't wait to check it out though. Kind of, they made it kind of look like found footage on the cover. It, it's not. You can tell from like uh, the back cover, it's not. Uh, next up is a film called Premonition, which heard interesting things about. Uh, I remember seeing the trail for this on a lot of like I think it's on like the Juon DVDs because Lionsgate released a lot of these ones. Uh, yeah, it looks cool. It's about like telling the future and stuff and trying to. Stop the future from happening before it does. That kind of gist of the movie. Without going too crazy into it. But yeah, Premonition. Yeah, stoked to check that one out finally. Uh, next one is another one I reviewed on Body Bags. Again, uh, very interesting film. Def check out my review. And that is Coma. Yes, this is Tartan Asian Extreme Goodness. Uh... Not Japanese. This film is from Hong Kong, I believe. Let me look. I think, yeah, Hong Kong, yeah. Okay. I was trying to look for the words, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I enjoyed this film for what it is. Check out my review on that one. Very surprising film. Last up for the Asian shit before I get into the other box set. I picked up this UK like DVD set. It comes in like one of those big like fat cases. And that is of the Ring Trilogy. This doesn't include like Raisin. This includes uh, Ring Zero which is the prequel. Of course the first Ring. And the sequel, the Ring 2. Uh, picked this up because it was super cheap to be honest and I didn't own the Ring films, and a lot of them were, like, used or out of print. And this actually saved some space, you know what I mean? Like, I got three of the Ring films. If I do want to pick up, like, Raisin and, like, uh, a few of the other ones down the line, I'll pick them up. But this is cool that they have, like, these, like, little fat sets from, like, Tartan Asia Extreme UK. So, yeah, I think they have the I one, too, which I'm going to be picking up. So... Maybe you'll see that in next month's update. Uh-huh. And last up for the DVDs. Now, I had this set before. A while ago. Like, uh, in my old, like, collection before I started to recollect. And, uh, shit happens pretty much. And the set left my collection for the longest time. Found it on Hamilton Books for fourteen ninety seven. I'm glad to say that the Nightmare in Elm Street collection from New Line Cinema, this is the DVD set, of course, uh, is back in my collection. And I always love this set, man. I know, like, a lot of... Uh, probably the main fault of this, this set is... Uh, the snapper cases for the cases 
But this is a pretty legit set. Uh, with the first, like, seven films, the original seven. And, uh, you know, I love it. And I'm glad it's back in the collection. I will be picking up the Blu-ray set down the line because I am... Uh, Nightmare is actually my second favorite franchise in the, the world. Uh, I'm a Friday fanboy. Uh, it's the way I grew up and the way that I experienced those first. But I always love Nightmare Second, which is probably one of the reasons why I do like Freddy vs. Jason. Because they mix, like, the elements of both. Like, like there's, like, the serious, like, scariness of, like, Friday mixed with, like, the goofiness of, like, the later, like, Nightmares, which I do like. I know a lot of people don't like the goofy Nightmare on Elm Street sequels. I do. Besides, like, Freddy's Dead, it's probably my least favorite one. I do like, like, the humor of, like, some of the other ones. But that's just me, guys, you know, it's nothing like, you know, if you don't like them, that's fine, you know. But yeah, that's it for the DVDs. Now let's get into some Blu-ray Izzles. Got a lot of Blu-rays to show you guys, so let's get right into it. First up, we got two from Arrow Academy, which is like a, the Criterion, like stuff that Arrow releases, like certain films and shit like that. And first up, we have Three Women. Yes, this is directed by Robert Altman. Uh, fantastic film. If you haven't seen this, uh, I'm not going to go too crazy in the plot. It's pretty much like a psychological drama involving uh, Shelley Duvall and Sissy Spacex characters in the film. And it gets fucking crazy in the third act. And uh, great performances. Like uh, Shelley Duvall, who... It was hit and miss with me. This is probably the best i ever seen her in a film. And Sissy Spacex, fucking phenomenal. And fucking uh, great performances. I, if you haven't seen Three Women, I highly recommend it. Awesome shit right there. Uh, next up uh, is The Untamed. Picked up the Arrow Academy version because... Uh, uh, reasons being, I like the artwork and shit on this one. And... Uh, it was on sale, I think. That's the other reason I picked this up. It was I bought it during the Arrow sale. Uh, fucked up movie. A lot of like craziness that happens within this one. Uh, a lot of like tentacles and uh, homosexual sex, which I don't mind when I see it in film. I just it's sometimes it's awkward. Sometimes when you just watch one scene and then you see like two guys like pounding each other, pretty much. But, which I'm, you know, I'm not judging or anything, but you know, like when you're just watching a film and you don't expect to see shit like that, and it happens, you're like, oh shit. But yeah, I enjoyed the Untamed. This is actually a really good like character study piece, mixed with like some sci-fi uh, elements within it. Very uh, reminiscent of Possession in a way. Uh, it even says that actually on the back cover. Uh, yeah, I recommend it. If you have, I think Strand release and released this in the U.S. So, yeah, check out The Untamed. Really mindfuck of a movie. Uh, next up, I picked up four from Eureka. Uh, first up is Silent Run-In. This is a sci-fi film uh, starring Bruce Dern. I've seen the beginning of this movie. I always wanted to check it out because I was getting into it, but I always had to end up doing something else. So, yeah, that's why I never got a chance to watch this one yet. And uh went back in my, like, early days but cool to have a copy of it now because i always wanted to fucking finish this movie so stoked to check that one out uh next up is another robert altman film and that is that cold day in a park this is another like psychological like movie also uh very weird performances by uh the main actress in this film uh very haunting great cinematography Really great stuff. If you haven't seen this one, highly recommend it. Awesome shit. Uh, some more Asian shit. Picked up Uni Baba. Uh, this is directed by Kaneko Shindo. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I probably butchered the fuck out of Kaneko Shindo. Yes. Uh, who directed Korinko, which is a uh, you know like the demon cat movie. Uh, always wanted to see this film. Really stoked. The, the Blu-ray looks great. I know, like, uh, Criterion released this on DVD. 
Uh, got this for a good price. That's why I picked it up. Yeah, I highly recommend this film. Fucking awesome shit right there. Uh, next up and last for the Eurekas, I have Ganja and Hess, which is like a psychological like character study about like uh, this one dude who's actually played by Dwayne Jones from Night of the Living Dead, who becomes a vampire, then he starts a relationship with uh, a victim's wife, pretty much like his old assistant's wife, and it becomes like this weird like character study between the two of them. And their descent into madness from vampirism. Uh, very slow burnish because of that aspect. Uh, I'm curious to check out the remake of this movie. Because uh, Spike Lee actually remade this. I believe his is called The Sweet Blood of Jesus. Where uh, it actually tells the same story. Very different, I think. But uh, I know it has the same characters. That's why this movie's called Ganja and Hess. Because... Those are the name of the main characters in the movie. Uh, yeah, I'm very stoked because I really enjoyed this one. That's not a spoiler, but uh, really cool shit. The transfer on this is very odd because some scenes look better than others. It's just the way that the print they had. I believe it's the same print as the Criterion who released this in the States. So, uh, yeah, it's whatever with the transfer, but it's not the best transfer in the world. But it's watchable, you know what I mean? So, yeah, Ganja and Hess, I really enjoyed that. Next up, we got some of the infamous, no, I'm just kidding, but I got some Code Reds here. Uh, first up, I picked up the Sadist. Still to watch this, I know my buddy Moods really enjoyed this one. That's the reason why I picked it up. It sounded interesting. I just never had a chance to watch it yet, so it's on the back burner. Sorry about that, Moods. I'll check it out and let you know what I think about it. Next up, I picked up the Devil's Express. Love that artwork. Fucking awesome shit. Very. I did watch this one. This movie is batshit insane. Uh, fun shit here, right here. If you like some cheesy shit, this is definitely a movie for you. I highly enjoyed that one. <laughs> and last up for the Code Reds, I picked up Regero Diodato's Cut and Run. Fucking. Love this movie. Great release by Code Red. And fucking awesome shit right here. I fucking love this movie. They did that movie justice. Uh, next up, I picked up uh, Casino, which is like I showed 3,000 Miles to Graceland earlier. This is actually going to be talked about very soon on Cinema Attack. Yes. Uh, so, kind of think kind of guess what the theme of the movie is the show is yeah can't wait to check that one out again picked up tucker and dale versus evil uh as you know i was doing top five fridays and uh realized i didn't own a copy of this movie and i really enjoyed this movie so i picked up a copy finally got it for a good price love it picked up brimstone which made my top 10 of uh Last year, fucking awesome movie with Guy Pierce, uh, Dakota Fanon. Guy Pierce just kills that fucking role. Look how look how evil he looks on that cover. <laughs> fucking love Brimstone. Uh, picked up two from Twilight Times. They were having like a little like sale where they had these movies for like eight dollars. Picked up like Banded Queen, which is kind of like a documentary. It, it's well, not it's like a true story and stuff it's from the director of elizabeth uh never checked it out but i always wanted to from this cover art so eight dollars i'll blind buy these you know what i mean and i picked up angel which is the directorial debut of neil jordan who's actually my favorite director uh yeah i haven't checked this one out yet but very stoked stephen ray who's always in like a lot of neil jordan stuff uh picked up I actually got this in. This is my indie go go copy of Bone Hill Road. Of course, this is uh, Todd Sheets' new film. Uh, very stoked to check this one out. I haven't checked it out yet. I'm going to be doing a review on this as soon as, you know, this gets a little better. But uh, yeah, can't wait to re watch this one. You know, I heard great things and very stoked. And 
fucking awesome shit right here. Uh, fucking great practical effects. If you haven't seen a Todd Sheets movie, awesome shit right there. Uh, Cabin in the Woods, finally picked up a copy. Like I said, I needed it for my top ten. Not top ten, top five Fridays. And, uh, fucking, uh, yeah. Didn't have a copy of it, so picked it up. Good time. If you haven't listened to the newest episode of Cinema Attack, our top 10 of 2017, check it out. This made my number two spot. Fucking awesome shit. Uh, don't let the Robert Patterson fool you. He's actually really good in this movie. MFA. Uh, very interesting rape prevent show. It had some faults to it, but uh, Francesca Eastwood was actually really good in this movie. Uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, I do recommend it, like, give it a watch. If you like those type of movies, you know. Uh, Brawl and Cell Block 99. Fucking awesome movie. I love this. Fucking Vince Vaughn. Fucking great. Made my, uh, top ten of last year also. Loved it. Picked up a few from Stream Factory. The Resurrected, which I did do a full rank review if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Loved it. Spoiler alert. The Poughkeepsie tapes. I enjoyed this film. Uh, really cool, like, interesting, like, uh, mockumentary style, which I'm actually a fan of mockumentaries. Uh, like, uh, like Mongo and, like, uh, uh, The Tunnel. I like that, like, that style of, like, found footage more than, like, the actual, like, found footage. Uh, besides a few of them that I do like. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this, uh, from the director of, like, Quarantine. Uh, picked up The Fun House, which is the other film we are doing in that, uh, Carnival show with Freaks, uh, with another film, I believe it's Carnival of Souls. Uh, don't mind me, I'm kind of still waking up. But, uh, yeah, I was very interested when I rechecked this one out again. It's been a while. Uh, Blu-ray transfer is great on that from Screen Factory. Uh, picked up from BFI, The Innocents. Haven't checked this one out. Picked up this edition because it was way cheaper than the Criterion. And BFI does some great work too with their transfers. Uh, yeah, stoked to check this one out. I heard interesting things about this. And the last thing for the update, guys, before I get out of here is The Cat of Nine Tails from Dario Argento. A uh, fucking crazy Arrow video edition. Now, I heard things about, like, the discs being, like, fucked. Uh, I believe uh, when I was reading the post, it actually said that they, that's why they extended it to January and February, because they want to get, like, the discs before they send them out. So this one's actually a fixed dicks. Fist dicks. Don't mind me, I'm sick guys. <laughs> I can't say shit right now. But uh fucking I like this film for it is. It's not my favorite in the animal trilogy. But uh you know it's and I actually like the characters of this one very much. That's why I like it. You know, and the music by Maricone is beautiful. So, yeah, I stoked to check out the special features, as always. So, can't wait to check those ones out. And as always, wow. That's it for the update, guys. And I'll be back next month. Don't know how much I'm going to pick up. I actually got a few things in that I'm not putting in this update because I got them in today, you know what I mean? But you'll see those next month, and hopefully... This is gone. I'm going to get some tea in me and try to get better. So I'll see you then, guys. Peace out.